I'm a little bit starstruck at the moment because this is one of the best fillies to have set foot on a British race course in recent years. Her name is Degruda, and just as when she was racing, she's intent on hogging the limelight. The first filly in over 30 years to win the King George, Degruda lands it. She's still unbeaten, unbeaten in four. What a temperament, what talent. Togruda wins the King George. I'm sure she brings back some good memories for everybody here, does she? I mean, she was such a star on the race course. Yes. Gosh, you think it was just over a year ago uh, that uh, we were all there at Epsom celebrating her great uh, win in the Oaks. And then, of course, she goes on to Ascot and wins the King George Stakes and Queen Elizabeth Stakes. No, uh, but she's taken to her new life uh, extremely well, as you can see. She's very, very relaxed. And um, she's now uh, sort of uh, in foal to Kingman. She's been uh, tested 60 days in foal. So very much breeding the best to the best. So let's hope she produces the best. And she was such a star for you last year. She, does she get any special treatment? Quite a few visitors, I imagine? Yes, I mean, it's inevitable that uh, when they come off the track, they get that special treatment. And uh, some of them uh, actually don't really uh, actually enjoy it. They want to just get on with life. Um, Salsipa was very much like this, uh, but uh, no, as you can see from uh, Togruda's point of view, she loves people and uh, she's got a great temperament. Obviously, you've got a, a huge broodmare band here, a, a lot of quality in that. W what's their sort of daily routine like? I mean, she's out here at the moment. Will she be out here for most of the day? She'll be, she'll be living, by the time you get to this time of year, they'll be living out most of the time. Um, the uh, Obviously, as the... The, the early uh, foalers, they have to uh, be in and they spend, but they spend some time out in the paddock every day and then come in in the afternoons. And uh, as the weather gets better and more and the foals get uh, bigger and stronger, um, by, by now some of the older foals will be living out the whole time. Obviously they have to come in for sort of for veterinary examinations and things, but the longer, more you can get them out and living a natural life outside, the, the, the better for their physical development. Just talk us through Sheikh Hamdan's decision, if you can. I mean, Kingman obviously was, was devastating last year, but there must have been a temptation to go for a, a proven sire, perhaps? Yes, I mean, there are a number of proven sires around, uh, I suppose, sort of uh, Dubawi and Shamadal, but uh, and there was a, a lot of discussion amongst the team, but at the end of the day, it uh, was... Uh, Sheikh Hamdam's decision and uh, we have learned over the years that when Sheikh Hamdam makes these decisions he's normally right so uh, I think uh, it, it will be interesting and it'll it'll put a bit of speed into the uh, into the pedigree which will be interesting. Kingman was so devastating that it, it I suppose it seems right that uh, the two of the stars of uh, 2014 should have actually met in the covering shed. So of course early next year you'll all be on, on tender hooks waiting for this very valuable and very exciting foal to arrive. That'll be a, a pretty pretty big week when that happens. Yes, I don't know who will have the responsibility because obviously if she, she did happen to go to a, a stallion in uh, in Ireland she she would actually be at Derrenstown. Mm. But uh, yes, it's always quite a nerve-wracking uh, time when these uh, these these top mares uh, have their, their, their especially their first foals.